Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Tuesday the 8th of February 2022 and tonight we're off back to the International Stadium. It is Gateshead versus Blythe Spartans in the National League North. So here I'm in Gateshead, uh, as a result of uh, getting well and truly beaten by Fylde on Saturday, we have now dropped down to second in the National League North table, while Blythe are currently 18th. Uh, they, at the weekend, lost 3-0 at home to York. Um, they say on Derby Day, form goes out the window, don't they? But, um, but neither team's even bringing any, any form into this game, so don't, don't know where that's going to come from tonight. Like, uh, But... Yeah, we're gonna we need to win tonight but um but you can always guarantee this lot will be up for it we saw it just over a month ago at uh, croft park we saw it just after christmas a couple of years ago um i mean we're that far ahead of them in the table but it never makes any difference to be honest with you uh, we need to be nice to finally get one over on them uh, but i'm not gonna lie um i'm not cast him overly looking forward to this tonight uh, it's been a while since i've been able to say that about what gates and match but hopefully uh, those lads can go out there tonight and uh, prove me wrong um but we'll just have to just have to wait and see if we, if we do win we'll obviously go back top and uh and yeah uh, but the, the thing we do need to win otherwise uh otherwise at best it'll probably be Either finishing second or third and getting getting a buy into the playoff semi final. But anyway, let's head down to the international stadium and find out how it all unfolds. <laughs> here come Gateshead out to Walmart. Him, well, here come Blythe out to Walmart. <laughs> Oh, 
Half time, Gateshead won by Spartans nil. Uh, I think you can see in this game so far that we've come into it uh, with quite a bit of a points proof um, and we're not sort of allowing allowing them to get too much of a foothold into the game. Uh, we're really sort of trying to get up them uh, uh, while at the same time sort of nullifying any threat that they pose. Uh, I mean, it's, it's still sort of there for them. Uh, I mean, they've sort of created very little in that half, but um, there is always that worry that uh, they just they just need the one chance. I mean, obviously, uh, see by the team they put out that they were quite sort of defensive-minded with it, uh, obviously. Um, but at the same time, we've got the likes of Maguire, Dale and uh, uh, McNall on the bench that could come on to give them a bit more of an attacking threat so it's been an interesting second half uh, fingers crossed uh, we can go on and get the three points All kicking off with the Spartans youth over there. Soy sauce. <laughs> Three minutes of added time at the end of this game. Bless him, just try and enjoy the big day out. Eh? Time gets at three, Blythe Spartans nil, and natural order is restored. Um, I think what you could see out there tonight was um, a team that knew they had something of a point to prove, uh, that that knew that they needed to to win and to get back on tra track, and uh, they certainly did that. I thought. Um, I mean, but for a bit of a spell, so sort of, at the start of the second half, I thought it would in total control of that game tonight. Um, uh, Blythe uh, couldn't really sort of deal with it, really, could they? Um, I but I think for them, if I'm totally honest, uh, like, they seemed, they seemed defeated um, with 
with the, the starting lineup to put out, I mean, even for me, when I had a little bit of a look at what it was, I was very surprised at how um, how negative it was and uh, and how there was basically a lack of, of anything going forward. There was a lot of sort of defense defensive minded players out there, um, so I think it was pretty obvious from the start that they were they came sort of maybe hoping that they could maybe now be a, a nil nil or, or snatch a a snatch of one nil or something like that. Um, thankfully, uh, we managed to throw their the game plan in in the bin, and uh, and yeah, it's uh, it is I've got to admit, it is nice to finally get one over on them after after all this time, after quite a few uh, straight games, and uh, I thought I were well worthy of it tonight. Uh, the uh, it was now so at the tonneau that uh, Macaulay Langstaff had got a man of the match. And to be fair, I can see why, but personally, I'm going to have to uh, respectfully disagree with that. I thought uh, it should have gone to uh, Danny Greenfield. I thought it was excellent tonight. It was really, uh, I think he just about covered just about every blade of grass. He was really getting about, getting properly stuck in and that, uh, not giving not not giving their, their players much much time for maneuver on on the ball whatsoever um and, and honestly you won't wouldn't believe that he was a player that's been that's had quite a lot of sort of injury layoffs and that um yeah so i thought he was man of the match for me but um there's a lot of sort of individuals you could say had a had a good game tonight i thought uh for uh robbie tinkler was a lot a lot better tonight than uh what he was on saturday i thought lewis story had a Pretty good game. Uh, Adam Campbell was was about as as he always is. Uh, so yeah, um, so good all round uh, team performance there. Um, and it's I it's and obviously now with it's it's absolutely ideal now because uh, obviously we're going to a, what I personally think is a very tough game where Alfred on Saturday it's going to be um, it's, it's going to be one of those where the the opposition aren't going to be. Pleasant to play against, but we're going going into it on the on the back of a high. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to just have to see how how it goes, really, won't we? Um, but anyway, that is that for this video. I'll be back tomorrow night with Burtley Town versus Bedlington Terriers. So until then, take care, and I will see you later.